Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your business listing in Yelp.com. Okay, so the first place you want to go is to biz.yelp.com, and that's B I Z dot Yelp.com. Alright, so on this page, you'll come, you'll, when this page loads, you'll appear on a page just like this. Click on this button, create your free account now. Now you're going to enter the business name. And the business name, here's a key thing. On the other video tutorial I showed you with Google Places Setup, make it the same exact business name. All right? And then make near, what you want to do is uh, just, I would enter the city, the main city that the office is located in. Not, there's only one main city, basically, but uh, look at the office address and just do that when it's near. So I would do the city and then the state. And then go ahead and click on search. And what they're going to do is try to find if there's a business match. If there is, then what you want to do is try, try to claim it. If you can't claim it, then right here where it says can't find your business, click add your business to Yelp. All right. But here's what may happen for you. Um, you may have to just create one or you may have to claim one that is already unclaimed. So maybe someone uh, may have done like a, if you're doing your office, you know, maybe you have an office from one of the, one of the, um, you know, the, with a Prudential or Coldwell Banker or whatever the case is, maybe you have someone has already done a review on one of the offices but no one maybe claimed the listing what you want to do is see if a listing is claimed and then claim it as yours alright so anyhow right here can't find your business what you want to do now is add your business to Yelp and let's go ahead and get started pretty straightforward information here the address and all that stuff All right, and then now after this item, and by the way, here's another key tip: make sure this is set up in the exact same way that you set up the Google Places, meaning uh, use the exact same style. So I didn't put a period at the end of street last last time, so I'm gonna keep it just like that. And now enter the same exact phone number, and now enter the address or the website. All right, and now add the hours, of course, and here's the other one, categories, real estate. Just keep it simple. Don't go adding all these other categories and everything. So here's uh, real estate. You want to do real estate services, okay? Uh, don't do add another category. and Don't do all these. Don't go crazy with your categories. Just keep it simple, real estate and real estate services, all right? And then now verify that these list the listing is the exact same matching listings as everything else. All right, so like, oh, actually, right here, hours. You want to add the hours, so that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So it's basically matching uh, the Google listing. However, you filled for the Google listing, make it match as much exactly the same. All right, even the way you did the phone number. All right, so now we have it all set. Then you want to enter your email address. And here's the thing: enter the same email address that you did you that you used on the Google Places. So you'll notice that I almost put a put a, put an incorrect address, but I corrected it to do the same one that I did on the Google Places setup. All right. So now we want to click on Add. And then basically, you're going to get one of those verification links that gets emailed to you. So simply go open your email and verify the link. I'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here's what your what your email address, what your email will look like. It'll just tell you to verify. All you do is click on the link, and once this link opens, it says your business has been added to Yelp. So what you want to do though is view your business on Yelp. Let's see what it looks like. And now here, it's going to have this information, just basic information and all that stuff, just like normal. What you want to do is add photos, and then pretty much. Fill it up as with, with as many photos as you can. All right, and after that, you're pretty much all set. But actually, here's one thing you want to verify. Okay, under where it says Edit Business Info, click on that button. Now, right here where it says Is this your business? 
click on yes and then scroll down and you're gonna wanna submit changes alright but here's the thing uh, yeah okay so basically scroll down after you click on yes scroll down and click submit submit changes and then basically it says your changes have been approved so whatever account you're in you're all set so pretty much that's um, everything you need to do for setting up your your Yelp account if you if you want to just be double sure here's what you want to make sure you do come to this page and basically um, and and look what it, check out what it looks like in a, in another week or so. All right, so let's go back to the biz.yelp.com, and now let's log in with the same account with the with the same account that we had just created. You know, actually, here's another thing. Since I've already set up this account and I'm doing this as a demo on the video, here's what's going to happen. You won't be able to get your account access until Yelp verifies the stuff that you have sent over and did. All right. So what's going to end up happening is in the next few days, you'll receive another email, basically confirming that you, you know, you've successfully created the account completely. And then when you get that confirmation email, it's when you get it's that's when you'll be able to verify and claim your listing on Yelp. Okay, so when your account has been approved by Yelp, you you will receive an email that looks very that's pretty much just like this, and it's gonna tell you your account's been approved. And this link is what you gotta click, which will open the ability for you to create a business account. In this section is where you'll be able to claim that the Yelp page that you just created and be like the verified owner of it. So um, go ahead and let's go through the process. Step one, let's create a business account. okay and after you fill this out let's go ahead and hit continue and then once this thing goes it's gonna send one more verification email so let's go back to the verification email and confirm it so now here's the new confirmation email of the confirmation email and uh, all you gotta do now is click this one to confirm the link and let's see what it says now and now congratulations you've claimed your business page so now here's how it goes let's go to the business page that was newly created and see right here how it says this business page is incomplete don't lose out on potential business click on complete this page and let's see what Yelp is telling you so create an announcement uh, let's just do something let's just go through the steps uh, check out our our Yelp page now page now excited to be here something very basic just to I'm just showing you this demo and then now publish and continue. Let's just see what the next steps are. Add business special specialties. Uh, this is something you do want to do. What do you specialize in the business? So this is where you can see a zero up to a thousand. This is where you do want to put something very descriptive, where you talk about what the business does and what the specialties are. This is where you could talk about, you know, that big bio type of thing. We service home buyers and we specialize in foreclosure, short sales, all those kind of items. You want to do that in this section and try to fill up as much text as you can. The more descriptive your Yelp destination is, the better it's just going to be in general. So keep that in mind. But don't just keyword stuff. That doesn't really help you. It's not like an SEO thing where putting all these keywords is going to help. It's just the more descriptive of your business that you can be and break, break it down, the better. But don't think that you have to add all these SEO keywords and all that stuff. So now let's, I'm going to skip it, but just to show, see the next thing. Photos, of course, we explained that earlier. You definitely want to add those. I'm going to skip it, though, just for the sake of the tutorial. And now business history. This is a, all the stuff is important. Even if you could add history here, again, see you have up to a thousand characters. Try to fill this up as much as you can, so that way it's as descriptive as possible. And um, just give it a good history. The more, the better. That's the point. But do not just keyword stuff, or do not just make up text for the sake of saying them. Try to make it like very authentic and real. And next, I believe the find add owner add owner or employee bio. Same concept. You know, um, I'm going to go ahead and skip it, but same concept as I've been saying, fill it all up and everything. But pretty much that's what you want to do. And then choose a, upload a picture. That's preferable. That way it humanizes the business listing. This kind of stuff helps big time. So make sure you do that. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit next or skip just because I want to show you one more thing. So let's, all right. So here's the account. It's going to verify it's all yours. Now let's, when you view the business on Yelp, here's the thing that you're going to notice. Oh, there's the first announcement that was just done. But basically, when you if someone clicks on edit business information, they won't be able to 
they won't be able to just claim the business because you already have. Oh, but look, there's notice the web address isn't there. Well, that's interesting. So that's why it's always good. See, we did that when we set up the site, remember, on um, this tutorial. But notice now how it didn't appear in here. So you definitely want to make sure that you um, that you add this stuff in. You know, and then I even notice here your email. Definitely want to put the same one that we had. All right, and then pretty much that's everything. You know, so is this your business? Which we'll go ahead and put yes, just to verify, and then submit changes, and that's it. So now pretty much that's all that you have to have to do for your Yelp business listing. All right, and you know, there's actually one more thing just to be a hundred percent sure when you get this done. What you want to do is when you log into your Yelp for business owners account, go to business info information here and just verify that you have everything here. Your website's in here, see service area. This doesn't have any or doesn't have them all for whatever reason. So click on edit. And then basically what you want to do is add multiple cities. So let's go ahead and add some more here. You could add up to five, it says. And just I think you're getting the point right here. I just want you to see what it looks like fully done. And then pretty much that's it. So so now here's the main five cities. We save and publish. And then there it goes. Now here, yeah, that's perfect. So now your business listing is actually looking more complete. Obviously, you would you would put all that stuff that we had talked about earlier on. But now let's look at the vis business listing on Yelp. And you'll see now that the URL appears here, which is what you need to have. Make sure you, make sure that your URL appears here, and then your surrounding your area and surrounding areas that you serve. Those are key things. Of course, the photos and everything else, but just keep that in mind. All right, so pretty much that's everything for, for fully setting up your Yelp account. If you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish, the way you see tizish spelled here. Good luck and take care.